So, you've been leaving your dough here covered for around one hour and it should be nice and relaxed and easy to mold from here. So what we have here, we have actually, you can use a banneton, this is called a banneton, sometimes made of plastic, sometimes made of wood. I actually like to use a um, hairnet on top to stop it from sticking or alternatively, you can use one of the authentic kush. I recommend you put some flour on the kush. It's recommended that you use, if you have some rye flour, because rye flour it helps it stick less and also gives a nicer color. It's a good idea just to dust it on top like so. Or if you're using the banneton, to also dust, of course, inside the banneton. So now we're just going to make it round, or as I said, if you're going to make it long, you have to follow a different procedure. You can always search online different shaping techniques, there's many out there. So once again, we're going to repeat like we did before. We fold down, 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 and you can close with the back of your hand here. And then we just need to make it round. The idea here is you want to create some kind of a firmness. So when you touch it, that it has some resistance inside. So once it's finished, you can put it onto your cush like so. I recommend that if you are going to leave it again overnight, that you put some plastic before you put the cush on top. However, you can also leave this now outside for around four to five hours before it's ready to bake. 